So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video guide. And today guys, we check out and I bring you the location of where you can find this brand new, absolutely ridiculous katana. This you do not want to miss people. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So there's not many weapons in this game that take me away from my my normal build but this one guys i think i'm going to make an exception for check this thing out it's utterly unbelievable so it's called the star line sword um it scales with strength dexterity and that intellect and it causes that blood loss build up what more do you want as uh, so you can see its unique skill is called is that Unzi's, Unzi's line of stars. This skill named after a demi-human sword master imbues sorcerous energy into light glint stones and executes a slash attack. Repeat inputs allow uh, for up to two follow-up attacks, each dealing greater damage than the last. And you're seeing that in action right here, guys. Man, oh man, it's beautiful. So you press the skill button once you get that you press it twice you get that bam and if you press it three times in a row people you get this where you kind of like vanish and appear out the air and just slash down like wow so this is utterly unbelievable now what i would say is looking at the weapon we can see that it scales with strength dexterity and that intellect but obviously you're going to be using that skill quite a lot so intellect build intelligence builds here people it's probably the way to go with this because obviously you want to be using that amazing skill as often as you can and obviously that's part of this weapon the skill part of this weapon it's obviously what scales with the intellect here so yeah keep that in mind but this is a great great weapon people i'm absolutely loving the look of and obviously if you two hand a weapon too it's just even better now if you don't have to two hand it on xbox you just basically hold y and press that right bumper uh, on playstation i believe it would be hold triangle and press r1 i'm not sure i don't I play on xbox so yeah i apologize about that but i'm sure someone will let you know down below in that comment section now overall it's it's a katana it does what you want it to do people it's great i mean yeah i love katanas by far my favorite weapons in the game and like i said this weapon now is probably going to be my goal too so where do you get this well you have to defeat like an enemy sitting at the far coast now pinpoint exactly where this is but don't get it twisted guys you have to do a quite decent trek you have to go all the way around to end up back here which i'm going to show you the exact route to no cuts unlocking every grace along the way just so you guys know the exact way to get here so first things first people you want to come up to the castle front grace point so if you have unlocked the free path grace point which you should have done already uh, you want to just come across this bridge and come to the castle front grace point now that's where we're gonna go from and start the ride it's quite a trek like i said there's a few things you can stop off and grab along the way but this video is gonna basically focus on this katana so from here pull out your trusty steed and follow this path here you want to take a left here guys jump the wall take them shortcuts if you want to but do what you gotta do now i mean i've been playing the game non-stop now since release i didn't get no early access or anything like that i ain't that lucky so yeah i've just been posting and playing and finding things and bringing you guys guides on them as best i can and if you do appreciate that and appreciate the way my guys i can't i can't you know what i hate watching a video where someone cuts out half the route to something you want to get and it ain't just with Elden Ring, I used to see this with Cyberpunk and other things. So yeah, my guides may be a bit longer, but I ain't gonna miss nothing out. I try my best not to miss anything out. So yeah, following this path, guys, uh, just run past all these enemies. Uh, some of them will try and attack you. Yeah. Obviously, you want to be jumping out of the way of the bigger guys. And you're going to come down to this swamp right here. Now, stick slightly left, you can see those two pretty flowers. Uh, 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 they ain't pretty. They try and poison your ass. So you run past them. Run past these and you want to come down here. Again. Just like so. Run past these again. This stinky swampy area. 
And then here, guys, we're going to take a immediate left. So I've got straight down here. Straight down this hill. Like see our enemy there in the distance. We're going to straight past him. And to be honest, the enemy you got to fight here isn't very difficult. So you see that crab there? Avoid the crab and take a left. And we want to end up in that tunnel there. And I'll avoid, avoid that big flower too. Whatever that thing is, I'm not sure. Here, guys, take a left and you want to jump up this way. Just like so and come through here. And just keep coming. And we're coming up to near our first grace. So follow this round. And on our right hand side here is that grace point. No, sorry. So, 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 so. Run past there. On our right hand side is that grace point. Okay, so here we can see exactly where we are. We are at the Elek River Cave. So, yeah. So, we're going to continue on from here. Let's continue on this path. It's a trek, like I said. It is a trek. But it's a well worth It's definitely worth it. From here, guys, you want to. Now, this is where you got to be careful. You got to do some jumping. And you don't want to be falling down because it's immediate death. So jump, just like so. Be very careful, just like so. And just like so. And again, it's not too bad here. Once you get across, you can fall down here and you'll be all right. So yeah, now guys, you want to go left. The right path takes you nowhere. You basically just come back to the left. So yeah, stick to the left. And just run past all these annoying ass birds. If that's what you call them. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend jumping off your horse here because, yeah, things like that happen. Yeah, no, 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 no. One hit, I'm on a one hit. Run, mother... Run. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Okay, so now, guys, we're going to do a little bit more of a jump. Jump, and then just jump down. Just like so. Just like so. Okay, so now, guys, we have yet another grace point which I'm going to jump off and we're playing at so this is the grace point of uh, the Elect River downstream which we'll see on the map right here so cool and I, as I normally do guys for, uh, I'll just twist my horse and nothing happened as I normally do guys timestamps will be down below from each individual grace so some people may have these unlocked others won't now here guys, just sticking to the right hand side, um, you just want to be careful here, again you don't want to jump too far down, just like so, just keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, just like that, I mean these bigger jumps can just kill your horse instantly which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but hey, and again just slightly jump, be careful here, and there we go. And now guys we're just going to run straight across here, ignoring that crab on your right hand side, follow this path now you see where that big old cage fire dude is that's more or less where we gotta go so you want to head towards that way but you don't want to get too close to him because we know what he does so we're just gonna keep going this way people keep coming this way you see the water right there that's basically the way we gotta go you see that big old dragon in the background there heading towards that don't you dare lad don't you dare. So here, once you come up to there, take a right. So you want to go up there. Just don't want to get too close to this guy. You can see where we're at. Just trying to avoid him. Because he will, more or less, one tap yes. Which is what we don't want. And with this fight into the root. Because that would be embarrassing. I'd have to start it again. So we run up through this like cavern area right here. And you'll see I'll pull up the map in a second. I'm not in combat. And it allows me to. So you can see where I'm at, right here guys, I've been coming up to another grace, the Cerulean Coast. So we've made our way quite, it's actually, we've trekked quite far to be honest from where we started. So now, you can see exactly where we are and there's a grace point right here. This is where we're at. Okay, so from here guys, we're going to take a right and this is that beautiful area you would have seen in their trailers prior to release and you're thinking oh that looks so incredible and yes it looks just as incredible in game as it did in those trailers so yeah i'm just going to keep coming this way guys just like so just like this way i'm just gonna just follow the path just follow the path i'm taking people 
So we're just going to go slightly right here, slight right turn, and there's another grace point just over here, which we're going to run to firstly, because this is one to be at if you ain't got this unlocked. Because there's a good chance here where we're going to uh, that you may get capped off. There's so many enemies in the area um, that can just one bomb you. And there's those, do you remember those annoying little lightning balls that shoot at you too? Yeah, there's some of them also. Which is ser they're seriously annoying. I'm not going to lie, I died a couple of times right there. So yeah, so this is the other grace point which we're just going to rest at. Um, so this grace point is, I do believe, the Cerulean Coast West. And we can see this on the map right here. So from here, guys, we're actually just going to run around here. But you'll see the path I'm taking. So you can see this big old, looks like a, what is it, a building? Can't be a concrete ship, can it? <laughs> I don't know. We're at the coast. Could be a ship. Is it metal? I don't know. So we're just going to run around here. I'm going to take a left again up through this cavern. So this is a particularly dangerous area where enemies will just completely I mean be feel free to explore the greatest points right there if you want to I'm just gonna run straight to where this weapon is and you'll actually notice guys the sword we have just unlocked there's a guy sitting there see that guy sitting right there he actually has a sword too in his hands and he just appears out of nowhere guys he appears out of nowhere and literally just come and just slashes you so yep sticking to the left hand side we're following the route around here just like so avoiding all these enemies just like so and you can see there there are those annoying electric balls they are a pain in the ass as soon as you hear them ticking off you just want to sway left and right if they do that sometimes they don't sometimes they do they just want to be swaying left and right because that way they miss you and here guys is exactly where you want to be so basically guys that guy sitting out there in the distance sitting down he is the guy that when you take out, he drops this incredible new katana. Uh, what I did was I brought out my Mimitia, used all my buffs, uh, used my physic and just took him out. And it was quite easy to be honest, there wasn't nothing difficult about it. But yes guys, that is how you get this incredible new katana, the Star Lion Sword. One you do not want to miss. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.